Grace and peace, family. It's your brother Christopher Slaker, Big C. I want to encourage you. There is power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Salvation is in the name of Jesus. Healing is in the name of Jesus. Everything you're looking for is in the name of Jesus. Let's go. Let's go. Jesus, I lift you up, Jesus. What's up, family? Grace and peace. Welcome to We Believe. I'm your host, Christopher Slager, Big C. We have an amazing broadcast for you. Episode one, baby. We're going to start off with one of my music videos, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Check it out. What's your name? Ronnie. Father God, I thank you for Ron Ronnie. You yes. love him so much. I plead the blood of Jesus over his life. I speak faith over his life. John 14, 6, Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of God, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Messiah. He's my Lord and Savior. I put all my faith in him. He was born of a virgin. He's the one that I'm serving. When sin try to creep in, I just keep swerving. The blood that he shed, yes, it was perfect. He did it for me and I didn't deserve it. His grace is sufficient every day. I'm learning the fire that's in me will never stop burning. His name is Yeshua, the King of the Jews. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He is the truth. He is the truth. He is the way. He is the life. The grave couldn't hold him down. Yeah, he was brought to life. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of God, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Messiah, He's my Lord and Savior, I put all my faith in Him. He's the Son of God, that's without a question. On the third day, yeah, He resurrected. Lineage of David, He was predestined. After He resurrected, He ascended into heaven. There's life in His name, peace in His name, hope in His name, forgiveness of sin, salvation, and healing. Everything you're looking for is in His name. Jesus Christ, He's the one who paid the price. Eternity is nothing to play with. Even though my God is gracious, He's amazing. His love like changing, but to get into His kingdom and send us who you gotta put your faith in. And send us who you gotta put your faith in. Jesus Christ is who I put my faith in. Jesus Christ is who I put my faith in. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Son of God, the King of Kings. The Lord of Lords. The Messiah. He's my Lord and Savior. I put all my faith in Him. My life is the proof. Jesus is real. My life is a miracle. Jesus is real. My mom couldn't have kids, but then they prayed. And she was healed. They prayed in the name of Jesus. That's how the miracle happened. It's amazing what takes place when you choose to mix faith with action. Every day's another day to give God praise. Every day's another day to lift up His name. Every day's another day to put your faith in Him. Every day's another day to worship Him. Glory to God in the highest. Almighty God in the highest. The great I am, I seek Him first. He's my number one desire. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Son of God, the King of Kings. The Lord of Lords. The Messiah, he's my Lord and Savior, I put all my faith in him. Let's go, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray you enjoyed that video. You can re uh, watch the video on my YouTube channel. All you have to do is type in Jesus Christ of Nazareth and then Christopher Slager, and it'll pull up. You can share it with your friends and family and spread the word. And I uh, pray it bless you. 
We're going to continue with this TV show, and uh, the next segment is a video of me ministering on the subject of faith. I believe it's going to radically bless you. Check it out. Uh, hallelujah. I believe God is going to do double in this service. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. There's power in faith, power in expectation. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. amen. I want to encourage you as we dive into this word, I want you to expect to hear from God. Hallelujah. Pull from the anointing. Pull from what God is doing. Pull from it. Receive something. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. I want to turn to Romans chapter 1. If you got your Bibles today. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 1 verse 16 states, for I am not ashamed of the gospel. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say I'm not ashamed, I'm not ashamed. of the gospel, of, the gospel. Of, Christ. of Christ. Look what it says next. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes, to the Jew first and to the Greek. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Is there anybody that's not ashamed of the gospel this morning? Come on. Verse 17 goes to say, For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. Somebody say from faith to faith. Then it says, As it is written, The just shall live by faith. Somebody say by faith. by faith. It doesn't say from doubt to doubt. It doesn't say from depression to greater depression. It doesn't say from sadness to suicidal. It says from, come on, from faith to faith. I don't know about you, but I'm glad that I serve a God of faith. When you read the book of Genesis, it says God said. Genesis 1. God said. God said. Everything we see was created through the spoken word of God declared in faith. Somebody say faith. faith. And as the body of Christ, we have to catch a revelation that we are a people of faith. Not a people of doubt. Not a people of unbelief. But we are a people of faith. A people of believing. Come on, our trust is not in the things of this world. Our trust is not in the ways of this world. Our trust is not in the external realm. Come on, our faith is in God. <clears throat> our faith is in the word of God. Our faith is in his promises. We are a people of faith. Come on. Come on. You got saved by grace through faith. Not through grace through doubt. Not through grace through unbelief. Not through grace through I hope so. But you got saved by grace. Unmerited favor. The love of God. Come on. Through faith. Somebody say faith. faith. Somebody say, I'm a believer. believer. When you go to verse 16, it says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes. When I look at the Bible, the Bible is not a book about doubt. Come on. The Bible is a book about faith. God created this earth in faith. Come on. Hallelujah. Noah built the ark in faith. Come on. Moses led up millions of Israelites out of the Egyptian slavery by faith. Come on. He showed up to Pharaoh a number of times by faith. Walked out of there where all the Israelites crossed the open ocean that God opened up by faith. Come on. You look at everybody in the Bible, Old and New Testament, that was used by God. They approached God by faith. It's something about faith that activates God intervening your life. Who is your faith in this morning? 
Jesus was a man of faith. He accomplished the mission that God gave him by faith. The disciples in the early church advanced the kingdom of God by preaching repentance of sins, forgiveness, hallelujah, and faith in Jesus. They, hallelujah, accomplished the mission that God gave them by faith. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor. High five him and say, I'm a person of faith, baby. Look at somebody behind me and say, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a man of faith. I'm a woman of faith. Somebody yell out, I'm a believer. Come on. Hallelujah. From faith to faith. The Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. You weren't created to live the Christian life. By doubt, the Christian life, the Holy Spirit life, is lived by faith. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. I like to put it like this. Faith comes by hearing and catching revelation of what you're hearing. Come on. Amen. It's not about necessarily reading 20 chapters straight. It's about reading what you're reading, you can if you want. I do that sometimes. But it's about going to the word in faith and catching a revelation of what God is saying in the word. Let his spirit feed you. Somebody say amen. amen. The Bible is not a magazine. You can't read this like a magazine and get something out of it. Come on. You can't read this like the Tulsa World newspaper and get something out of it. You got some people that read a word like, like, like Tulsa newspaper. All right, let's just read through it. No, come on. You can't read this like an article from some news media on, on the internet. Come on. If you want to get something out of it and you want faith to explode in you, you got to come to the Bible believing that it's the word of God, believing that it's the breath of God. And when you come to the word, believing that God is going to speak to you, he's going to open up your eyes and reveal something to you. Faith is going to explode on the inside of you. Something happens when you read the word in faith, baby. Somebody yell out faith. What is Hallelujah. Come on. We are a people of faith, hope, and love. The body of Christ is rising up. Hope you enjoyed that. We're going to keep it moving on the broadcast. We're going to uh, do another one of my music videos here called God Did Not Give Me a Spirit of Fear. And uh, I believe it's going to radically bless you as well. Let's go ahead and check that out. I serve, I serve a, God a God who never who lost, never the, lost battle. the battle. Who always, who always wins, wins. A, God a God who never who lies, lies. A, God a God who always, who tells, always the tells the truth, a God, God who is faithful. faithful. God did not give me a spirit of fear. He gave me the spirit of love, the spirit of a greater destiny but it takes faith uh -huh. and it takes integrity you can't serve god oh. and serve the enemy oh. the you can only serve one that's yeah. what the bible's telling yeah. me yeah. that's what the bible's telling you yeah. so tell me what side do you choose if you choose christ there's a lot of stuff that's you need busy, to do baby. Mark 16 15 if you need it all day god send me to you to let you know his word is true i'm here everybody Finale chosen for such a time as this. Get it? I could raise the dead. Uh, I could heal the sick. Uh -huh. And no, it's not magic. Uh, and no, it's not a trick. No. It's all because of the power of the one that I'm with. Woo. It's time to rise. It's time to stand. It's time to make, make, a, make difference. a difference. When it comes to his kingdom, I'm about his business. business. When it comes to his will, best believe I'm uh -huh. in it. By faith, I'ma keep running my race until it's finished. Whoa. Did not give me a spirit of fear. He gave me the spirit of love. The spirit.
His face, who you think you swing for reals? I'm the son of God, I'm more than victorious. Yeah. I'm more than a conqueror, my king is so glorious. Hallelujah. You're gonna have tests, tests. you're gonna have trials. trials, you're gonna have tribulation. Uh. Who do you put your faith okay. in? Because if you put your faith in God and not Satan, the mountain has to move. That's the end of the conversation. Yeah. I refuse to believe the devil's lies and all of his deceptions. Uh -huh. In the blood of Jesus, I have access to protection. Sure. I have access to the blessing. Uh -huh. I have access to heaven. Get it. This grabs your attention and it causes you to stand. stand. It causes you to say, I'ma do what I can. can. I'ma build my house on the rock, rock. instead of sand. sand. I'ma live my life for Christ and give him everything I have. Let's go. God did not give me a spirit of You gonna stay. stay when he said get up and go he go. even showed you the way the way he told you what to do the other day when you pray you remember God is you so you really need to stop being afraid uh -huh. there's no more time to waste we're in the last days last God days take you higher unless you pass the space once again the question is what do you have to say God is God God did not give me a spirit of fear. Let that encourage you. He's given you a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. You could also watch that video on my YouTube channel. All you have to do is type in, God did not give me a spirit of fear. Type in my name as well, Christopher Slager, Big She, and you can enjoy that again. And uh, we're going to keep it moving. Recently, I released my book, and uh, it's called Do Not Be Afraid, Heaven is Real. Here, here's a little video talking about that. What's up, family? Grace and peace. Your brother Christopher Slager, Big C. Recently, my book came out. It's called Do Not Be Afraid, Heaven is Real. 19 chapters of kingdom content that is going to richly bless you and inspire you to be who God's called you to 
be. And maybe there's somebody out there watching. Are you depressed? Are you stressed? Are you suicidal? Well, my book, Do Not Be Afraid, Heaven is Real, is going to be a God-given tool, hallelujah, that's going to inspire you and really, hallelujah, bless you, teach you how to live by faith, SOGpublishing.org. That's SOGpublishing.org. God bless you. You definitely need to check that out. Do not be afraid. Heaven is real. We're getting a lot of testimonies, and I know it's going to be a great encouragement to you. And uh, we want to keep this moving on this next segment. Hallelujah. God's put another word on my heart for you. Let it bless you. What's up, family? Grace and peace. Your brother Christopher Slager, Big C. I wanted to remind you that God loves you. Wherever you're at, wherever you're watching this, God loves you. Hallelujah. In the Bible, it says in John chapter 3, verse 16, that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus Christ, his life, his death, his bloodshed, and his resurrection is the tangible evidence, the tangible proof that you are loved. If you want to know what God thinks about you, all you have to do is look to Jesus Christ. Jesus is tangible evidence that you are loved. Many human beings across the earth, they're trying to fill their life with different things from this world, drugs, alcohol, sin, but none of those things can fulfill you. Every human has, a, has an internal void on the inside, and the only thing that can fulfill it is the love of Christ, the love of God, proven through Jesus Christ, a relationship with Jesus. 14 years ago, when I was 18, I repented of my sins, put my faith in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of my life. He filled me with purpose. He filled me with love. He filled me with joy. He filled me with peace. Yeah, and my life has been eternally impacted. Family of God, the best decision that I've ever made was putting my faith in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of my life and repenting of my sins and receiving Jesus into my heart. Family of God, before I put my faith in Jesus, I used to try to fill myself up with drugs, with sin. Family of God, I had depression. I had fear in my life. I had uh, emptiness and the things I was filling it with was not filling me up. But Jesus Christ filled me up with his love, with joy, with peace, with purpose. Yeah, I want to encourage you, put your faith in Jesus. He'll take away the shame. He'll take away the guilt. He'll take away the, the emptiness. He'll fill you with love, heal you, forgive you of your sins. Wherever you're watching this, no matter where you are, I want to encourage you, let God's love draw you to him. Don't run from him, but run to him. I want to encourage you, put your faith in Jesus. Pray this prayer with me. It's a prayer of repentance of sins and faith in Jesus. The Bible says all who call on the name of Jesus shall be saved. Go ahead and pray this prayer with me. Say, Jesus, forgive me for my sins. Wash me with your blood. Cleanse me from all of my unrighteousness. I put all my faith in you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. Family of God, if you prayed that prayer, congratulations. That is the best decision you can make. Contact this messenger. We want to send you a Bible. Three simple things that you could add that will change your life. Begin to read the Bible. Begin to pray every day and worship God. Find a church that you can be a worship God with other believers. Welcome to the family. We love you. God bless you. Send us a message in Jesus' name. We would like to invite you to Jesus Healing Nights Grand Finale Jesus Movement, a gathering that we host every Saturday at 7 p.m. in Tulsa, Oklahoma. The location is God Shining Light Church, 9897 East 11th Street, Tulsa, Oklahoma, 74128. Every Saturday, 7 p.m., we lift up Jesus at Jesus Healing Nights. It's a time of prayer, a time of worship, a time of the word of God and a time of healing. It's a time where God's love pours out in a great and mighty way. We would love to see you 7 p.m. at Jesus Healing Nights. If there's anybody that would like to come but they can't make it in person due to the length of time to get to the venue, we have great news. We reshare the live stream every Saturday, 7 o'clock on my Facebook page. All you have to do is search Christopher Slager on Facebook. You'll find my page and we reshare the broadcast 
and you can join on in to our service, hallelujah, through our live broadcast, hallelujah. But if you can make it in person, we would love to see you. Once again, God bless you. Join us Saturday night, seven o'clock at Jesus Healing Nights. We would love for you to consider becoming one of our monthly ministry partners, partnering with our ministry, saving our generation ministries, helping us to continue to reach our generation with the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Whether it be through our We Believe TV program, whether it be through our evangelistic gathering every Saturday, 7 p.m. here in Tulsa, whether it be through our traveling ministry, hosting evangelistic concerts across the United States and Brazil and ministering in different nations, whether it be through our social media ministry, your financial partnership, your prayers make a big difference and help us to continue to do what God has called us to do, which is to preach the gospel to all creation. Hallelujah. If you'd like to become a monthly partner, you can write us at Saving Our Generation Ministry, ministry our P.O. Box, which is P.O. Box 702624, Tulsa, Oklahoma, 170. You can also reach us, reach out to us through our telephone number, 918-504-6527. 918-504-6527. If you need more information, you could also reach us on our website, SOGglobal.org. That's SOGglobal.org. You can also reach us on ChrisBigCSlager.com. Many avenues for you to reach out to us if you'd like to become a monthly partner. We love you. God bless you. And remember, Jesus Christ is Lord. Thank you so much for watching We Believe today. We look forward to seeing you next week. Connect with me on social media or any music platform. All you have to do is search Christopher Slager in the search bar. Once again, thank you for tuning in with us. God bless you. Jesus, I taught your name.